Um, Wildebeest, you have to be in place by then. It's a very messy moment, and it kind of should be. I think the awkwardness is fantastic. It's a very peculiar job. You have to ask what sort of person spends their life creating an alternative universe in which they can inhabit and populate and control to a degree. Rain's ready. From the first day of rehearsal through to your opening night, you're effectively under a meter, under a clock. We have a problem with the rain at the moment. The rain doesn't work. So are you waiting? On I am waiting. I'm waiting on me to do. You're involved in a kind of a race, if you like. The one is a dictator at some points during rehearsal because you suddenly see what you want and you ask people, force people, beg them, shout at them to do it. I want great urgency there, but I want a real delicacy as well. So what you're saying is make it faster, but don't... Rush it. Rush it. <laughs> <laughs> Get up! That's it. Ow. <laughs> There's an awful lot of laughter in rehearsals, I find doing a play good fun. Now, the other thing is the gazelles came in front of the zebras. You're partly a psychiatrist, you're partly a creator yourself, but it's really running a large, large uh, war room that hopefully is more, more carnival than war. Let's take it from the beginning. <laughs> he says, I'm exaggerating. What are you doing, John? <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Um, okay, we're going to do it again. Okay. The best way of working uh, for me is with a director is when you come in as, t as, an, as two equal artists. Welcome he has something to give, I have something to give. Okay, all right. It's no good it just being all yours as a director. You want to get all that lovely creative stuff that's there. Do they have a petticoat or are you a stocking man? <laughs> One of the most important things a director does is, is keep his mouth shut. You have to know when to speak as well as what to speak. The director will say, yeah, well, the, that's the way I think about it. Or, I had these thoughts and um, all right, let me hear yours. So it's really sharing. Your vision at the beginning as a director has to be something which imbues the rest of the people you're working with with a certain amount of confidence. They so don't think they're going to turn up with somebody who hasn't got a clue. If you've got that extra time there, make noise to fill it. Yeah. But in a sense, it's a, it's a bluff. The key is to get everybody in a room together and create an atmosphere where people can play. It's working in an environment that will help you be as unselfconscious and therefore as free as possible. You make an absolute idiot of yourself, as we say at home. Be silly. Get the steps wrong. Fall on my ass. Really make a fool of myself. Then you get really great work because you edit out the stupid bits and you keep the good things. Terrible. <laughs> Editing. Editing is a big part of the job. So you get a lot of fantastic creativity coming, but you have to sort of know what to weed through and what to keep. Well, they're fast, though, aren't they? Yes. So let's make your entrance earlier. Yeah, like that. I'm not up on that stage. I don't do eight shows a week. So I think it's very, very important for the director to allow the actors to own what they're doing. That's perfect. And if you have the right people, then hello, you know, I can just sit back, smoke a cigarette, relax, watch them do it, you know. <laughs>